First time at Sonic Acts, but I used to teach uh, at the University of Amsterdam, so I'm pretty familiar with the city. Uh, what is geologic uh, imagination for you? What does it mean for you personally? Well, the theme of the Anthropocene was suggested by many of the organizers of this conference. And I'm interested in the word Anthropocene and making it a wider philosophical term, a term for any situation in which a human is both part of an object and an observer of the objects. And we've always had some things like that, such as arts, society, family, except now the climate is becoming one of these objects that I call Anthropocene objects, where humans are an ingredient in them, but also an observer of them. And so we helped create it, but we don't, that doesn't mean we understand it. So we helped create the Anthropocene climate, but we still can't understand it to its depths. It's a, we certainly can't master it. It resists our efforts to, to uh, stop the heat from going up, and it, 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 edit that out. <laughs> First association comes to your mind when you hear the word society? Society, I think of, of it as a composite of many different entities that belong to the society and which can die out and be replaced. The society can remain. The society for me is a kind of object. Just now I'm writing a book on the Dutch East India Company because Leibniz, the philosopher, claimed that it wasn't a real object. Uh, but I claim that it is because the, what, the Dutch East India Company can remain even when the ships sink, even when people quit, even when people die. Uh, you can have a higher level object that remains one.